Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika. In today's video, I am going to be testing out a bunch of new Australian drugstore makeup. In my last video, I did a haul of all these goodies, so now it is time to dip into them and I actually have one more new, very exciting item that didn't come in time for my haul and it is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Powder. Oh my goodness, I am so excited to try this. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up while you're watching. And if you want to see more just like this, I will have them all linked down below in the description box. Okay, so I'm going to start out with the BYS Hydrating Spritz. This is a vitamin C hydrating facial mist. You can use it before your makeup or like during the day to kind of just refresh, you know? doesn't have a, too much of a scent, which is nice. The spritzer is pretty, not aggressive, but it's it's got a lot of force. Hmm, not bad, feels good. Okay, for foundation, I was planning on using the Emco Beauty Ultra Stay Flawless Foundation, but I did do a review on this recently and it just, it's not for me, unfortunately. So if you haven't seen that, I'll have it linked down below in the description box. So instead of using that today, I'm actually going to go in with this OXX Bloom Foundation from Kmart. Now, this is the Luminous Luxe Foundation. It's said to have a satin matte finish with full coverage, and I have the shade 1.1 Swan. Now, from memory, I don't think there's a lot of shades in the range. There's probably like six. But this shade here is actually very fair and works well for me. And when I did a declutter recently, this foundation was one I wanted to try out and just see if I liked it before I actually got rid of it. And oh my gosh, this actually shook me. I cannot believe how good this foundation is. Before foundation, I'm just quickly going to go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Anti-Redness Primer to get rid of some of this redness going on. Okay, that's a bit better. So in with the foundation, I was actually so surprised with how well it lasted. I was coming home from nine hour shifts and it still looked flawless. Like a little bit of cracking around the mouth, but everywhere else looked amazing. Like I could not believe it's like a $6 foundation. Well, it's under $10, I'm pretty sure. When I did my declutter, I actually put aside a bunch of products that I wasn't quite sure and I just wanted to test out one more time. And I've been doing really well. I've actually been taking notes of all the products I've been trying out. So I will have a video coming soon giving you updates on those products and just letting you know if I'm going to declutter some more. Let me just zoom you in a bit. Look how glowy the foundation looks. And it's a really beautiful coverage as well. It is medium. I can still see some blemishes coming through, but it gives a really nice natural finish. The first powder I want to try today is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder, and this is in the shade Light. Now this is described to have a silky, weightless texture, and it drapes the skin for a dreamy, blurring, soft focus finish. <laughs> it sounds good to me. So here is the shade of the powder. It looks like it's going to be a good shade. It does have a bit of a yellow tint to it. I'm just going to smooth out my under eyes. And then with a small powder brush, I'm going to lightly set. Okay, straight away I can see that it has set that concealer, but it doesn't look as glowy as I thought. The shade is nice, it's not too bright. It is settling into my fine lines a bit. Mm, okay, okay. I can see what it means by a soft focus effect because as I said, everything looks very smooth and flawless. It's just not as glowy as I thought, but I do like that effect. Okay, let's put a little bit here. I feel like it really smooths out my pores. Mm. Okay, okay. I'll definitely have to keep dipping into this. I'm not going to put it over my entire face because I really want to test out that CoverGirl powder as well. Now, first things first with this CoverGirl powder, I am obsessed with the packaging. I love kind of like the clear packaging with that pink. It's just 
It's really sleek. Now this one does come with a little, what are these called? Sponge? <laughs> a little pressed spongy thing, I don't know. Now the powder is described as lightweight. It leaves a flawless, it leaves a flawless finish that lasts all day. It has buildable coverage and makes pores less visible. Oh, comes with a vegan puff for ease of application. I'm actually really excited about the shade of this powder. I think it's going to work very well. Okay, so I'm just going to lightly press this on the skin. Wow, straight away I can see how flawless that makes the skin look. Oh my God. It looks so smooth. Oh, oh. I really like this shade as well because I feel like it adds a little bit of warmth back into my skin. So because it has set the foundation, it has gotten rid of that glowy look from the foundation, but that's all right because we'll add that back in later. But what I like is that it still leaves a natural finish. Let me turn the brightness down a bit. You can still see some of my blemishes peeping through. It doesn't look like a heavy cakey powder because you can still see my real skin underneath. <gasps> Ooh! Next for bronzer, I have the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the shade Palm Beach Ready. Now, Wet n Wild has recently come to Priceline. There is a small range available. Hopefully, they release some more products soon. So, I did purchase these online. I'm not sure if they're in store yet to be able to go and play with and swatch, but I did have to take a gamble online with the shade and look, I didn't do that well. The tone of the shade is nice, but oh my God, it is so shimmery. Like, <sighs> that looks more like a highlighter to me, but I'm going to test it out just for the sake of testing it out. I'm very nervous though. Mm, I can already see it accentuating some breakouts. Oh, so here, it just makes my pores look so much bigger and I've got a little bit of texture there and it is just, it's beaming. I just, I don't think I want to use it. It's just far too shimmery. I did also pick up a new shade of the Maybelline City Bronzer. So here I have Medium Cool 200. So I previously, oh, oh I just broke it. Wow, savage. Anyway, <laughs> so I was previously using the shade Light Cool 100, and this is 200. It just pulls way too orange on me. You can see the difference there. So I'm excited to try out this shade because it's a really beautiful formula. It's a matte finish, so it's not going to do any of this. All right, that bronzer is much more what I'm looking for. I've just searched up the Wet n Wild bronzer online and it is described to leave skin looking luminous with a sun-kissed glow. So of course you're going to think there's going to be a bit of a sheen to it, but that is just straight up shimmer. On the Wet n Wild website, it's actually got a lot of good reviews. I don't know, if you're into a shimmery bronzer, go for it, but for me, and no, 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 no. Because if you have any sort of texture or breakouts, all that shimmer does is highlight them. <laughs> no, thank you. Next for blush, I have the Milani Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush, and I am so bloody excited to try this, but I don't know if this shade <laughs> is going to be right for me. So I picked up 140 Rose Romance, and when I Googled swatches online, this looked completely different. Now this is described to be a lightweight gel cream that applies smoothly for a natural flush of color. Now I'm not sure how it's going to go applied over powder. We'll see. This is the shade here. Let me blend that out on this palette. Oh my God, it's so dark. <sighs> oh my God. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is go in with my Sigma F53 airbrush. I love this for cream blushes and just very 
very, very lightly tap into this and kind of like blend it out. Deep breaths, okay. Let's just lightly, lightly tap. Okay, so it's applied all right over powder. This side, I feel like it's brought up a little bit of the foundation, but this side is okay. I would like to keep blending it, but I feel like it's going to ruin what's underneath. So I'm just kind of going to have to leave it at that, really. Then I'm going to take my sponge, just with nothing on it, and blend around the edges. All right, the next product is also by Wet n Wild and it's one that, again, <laughs> I'm not sure about. I really didn't do good when I was buying these products, eh? So this is the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Blossom Glow. It looks absolutely beautiful in the pan and I love the little pattern they put in there, but I think this is going to be too pink. <laughs> and I'm not really a fan of pink highlighters because they can just look a little icy on me. So this is the shade here. It does have a beautiful glow to it. I also picked up the Revolution Reloaded Highlighter in the shade Just My Type. Again, another beautiful pattern in the pan there. And this shade just has a bit more warmth to it. I think I'm going to like this better. It does feel a little drier than the Wet n Wild. God, it's just, it's hard to see. <laughs> But anyway, I'm going to do Wet Wild on one side and Revolution on the other. Okay, so this side is the Revolution. It does have quite a metallic finish. I have gone in with a really light hand though. Gives a beautiful, beautiful glow. All right, and then on this side, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild. Ooh, okay, this one is like super metallic. Ooh, when I look in the mirror, I can see kind of like a pinky purple cast. Whereas on this side, I can't see a color or like a tone to it. Mm. So just as I suspected, both beautiful metallic finishes, but the Revolution's shade is just more my type. <laughs> just my type as it's called. And the Wet n Wild is just a bit too pink. Oh, there's a hair somewhere. The Wet n Wild is just a bit too pink and icy. It's a shame though, because look at that. Oh, let me see what other colors, what other shades they have. Okay, so they also have a shade called Precious Petals, which does look kind of like the Revolution, maybe a little deeper. Not sure how the color is going to translate there, but maybe that shade would have been better for me. See, if I saw these in store, I probably could have made a better decision. That's all right. The Wet n Wild products are really affordable. The highlighter was like $8 and the bronzer around $10. The Milani blush was a bit more expensive though. It was around $22. So I'm pretty bummed that I paid full price for the wrong shade on that one. But... That is all good. All right, moving on. For my eyes, I'm going to go in with this BYS Zest Face Palette. This is so bright and fun for the summer months. Now, I think I'm going to go in with maybe like a bit of a pink look. Here are blushes and these are highlighters, but you can mix and match. So I am going to incorporate some of these shades into the eyeshadow look, I think. Let me do my brows and prime my eyelids and I'll be right back. All right, I just did one eye real quick to test it out. So let me show you how I got this. I'm first going to go in with this pink shade here, and I'm just going to tap that onto the outer corner of the eye and slightly blend it into the crease. This shade is so pretty. I think it would look beautiful just as a really bold look all over the lid. Oh yeah. Next, I'm taking the yellow shade from the palette and I'm going to blend this from the inner corner 
all the way to the outer corner and blend the edges of the pink shade and it's going to create an orange ombre in between. Next I'm going to take this pink shimmer and this white shimmer here. The white is more of a white gold so it's going to blend really nicely into the pink. With the pink, I'm going to put this in the center of my eyelid and then take the white for the inner corner. And then for under the lower lash line, I'm going in with the pink from inner to outer corner and then blending it out with the yellow. All right, eyeshadow's done. Time to get into mascara. I am so excited for this one. It is the Essence Lash Princess. I have been trying to get my hands on this for so long. I finally found it in stock. I hear that this is the best mascara Essence has. Now, it does have quite a basic wand on it. So let's go in and see. I do have rather long lashes. So with a mascara, I look for something that is going to give them lots of volume, separate them and make them look nice and thick. Ooh, already I can tell I like it. Yes. Okay, so this is a super black formula. It's not looking too chunky or clumpy. I feel like whenever you go in with a new mascara, it can sometimes be a bit too wet that it clumps the lashes together, but this is looking great. They are separated and looking nice and thick. Ah, hell yeah. I don't have a new lipstick, so I'm just going to go in with my favorite Astralis Girl Boss in the shade Empower. And then lastly, I have the Savvy Healthy Glow Mist. And this is a lightweight hydrating facial mist that leaves skin with a healthy glowing look. So I'm hoping this leaves like a bit of a sheen to the skin. Mm. Mm. Okay, it does have quite an aggressive spritz. Um, it smells like rose, which bleh, I don't like. But I feel like that's given a nice glow to my cheek there. Ooh. Mm, okay, it's definitely made my skin look glowy, which is good. Oh, love that. All right, guys, well, this is all for today's testing new drugstore makeup video. I think the most exciting product for me was definitely the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Powder. I cannot wait to dig into that again. As well as the e.l.f. powder, I'm excited to get into that a bit more too. I think the Revolution Highlighter is going to be a favorite of mine. Can't wait to play with that for more some more. <laughs> I'm a bit disappointed in the Wet n Wild bronzer. The Wet n Wild highlighter is kind of my own fault for getting the wrong shade. Same with the Milani blush. Oh my god, I'm so upset that I got such a dark shade because I am loving liquid and cream blushes at the moment. <sighs> but anyway, if you enjoyed watching today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would take a look around and subscribe. If you aren't already, make sure you come and follow me over on Instagram and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye.